what conditions, can you just walk me through the conditions that are attached here, how enforceable they are, uh, and kind of how you're going to legislate this? Well, hi. Uh, I would say um, there's good news that we are able to um, promise the airlines the waiver for the winter se uh, season. But uh, this cannot be a blanket, so uh, we have to attach some conditions to this. We do not have uh, at this stage the possibility to enforce conditions, but I'm happy to say that the industry, all the stakeholders, they um, discussed among themselves and come to a gentleman agreement with some conditionalities. And uh, some of the most important are, for example, to have predictability for the airports, uh, those who are intending not to use the slots, to give them back um, with uh, at least three weeks before, so giving time to organize the activities or um, to accept some kind of slots from this waiver, like it is um, the new ones or the ones of the airlines who is intending to leave an airport. So these are part of the conditions agreed by the industry uh, itself, and I salute and much appreciate that they come to this gentleman agreement. Apart from that, we are thinking also uh, at uh, some additional conditionalities, but this will be expressed in an amendment I'm intending to put forward to the regulation, to the slots regulation. But this amendment uh, is subject to be discussed by uh, uh, policymakers and uh, probably be adopted uh, as soon as possible, but to uh, take into consideration an uh, eventual waiver for other seasons, not for the next one. Commissioner, what are you seeing right now in terms of demand for air services. Um, if you listen to the guys that run the skies in Europe, the, the people that run ATC air traffic control and all the other factors that we use uh, to run the skies in Europe, they talk about the fact that demand is, is not increasing but starting to fall in Europe. Uh, and the reason for that is a lack of coordination between European states. What do you need to do to try and improve coordination to actually allow the European aviation sector to get back on its feet? Well, um, it's true. We, um, before having uh, the decision on uh, waiving the, the slots for the winter season, we conducted an evaluation of the situation, and it's true that we have a drop also in the air traffic, but also a drop in uh, the numbers of uh, passengers in the load of the aircrafts. And we also have one of the causes for this, it's true, it's the lack of coordination, the lockdowns, the restrictive uh, travel measures taken by various member states, but another one is also the drop in the confidence of the passengers to book a flight. And we can see there is a swift uh, uh, switch in uh, their behavior, so they are uh, booking uh, uh, closer to the, the time of uh, the flight, they do not have confidence in uh, the fact that the flight won't be cancelled. And to be so honest, the fact uh, some of the airlines' behavior of not uh, returning the money for uh, a cancelled flight also diminish the confidence of uh, passengers. So there are several uh, causes for the drop in the demand. Uh, of course, still the peak in uh, corona cases across uh, Europe. Also, we are um, moving in another season. So, as I said, this is what we can do at this stage. We give a waiver for winter. We prepare for uh, next year to have uh, a more targeted and um, tailor-made approach to an uh, eventual waiver uh, if uh, there is not a take-up in uh, numbers uh, next uh, year. Uh, also, in terms of um, uh, making um, the whole system more efficient, um, uh, I'm uh, willing to propose uh, a SAS 2 plus, uh, a single European sky 2 plus um, regulation in order to make uh, the air traffic more efficient. We are monitoring, uh, but this is a market uh, issue, and I think um, we have to restore also the confidence of the passengers if we want to see those numbers uh, coming up. 